three things which I think you really need to be able to solve a Rook's Cube are uh, first, a uh, obsessive personality, just being able to sit down and nut out these, these sequences on the cube. Secondly, a lot of time. Uh, it's a time-consuming process of learning tutorials and learning algorithms. And finally, just having an open mind and being able to um, apply logic and sequences to a puzzle. The main method that's used is the layer-by-layer uh, -layer method. And this composes of a series of algorithms, which are a set of movements that you can do to the cube that will move a number of uh, the pieces into a particular pattern. And using a series of algorithms, you can usually solve a Rubik's Cube. The fastest uh, time I've ever gotten on the Rubik's 3x3 is uh, 9 seconds, but these days I'd be averaging probably 25 seconds, so I'm quite out of practice. And for a long time, the world record for 3x3 was 7.08 seconds, uh, and recently that's been brought down quite a lot to 5 seconds or 5.5 seconds, and so I'd be fairly low down on the rankings there, but I think I've made a good effort.